thank you all for coming on this sunny afternoon full of wonderful cyber events, and yet you are here. So we need to uh, make sure that this discussion indeed takes the uh, promise, cashes in on the promise, and for that we have a, an amazing group of experts which I'll very briefly uh, introduce, and then I'll tell you how uh, we plan to do this. And uh, of course, uh, as my former uh, Chief uh, Professor Metania used to say, Israel has the advantage of being small, so the fact that this is a small room and uh, that we are a small group is uh, uh, intended to encourage you to participate in the discussion which will hopefully be lively, and if it will not be lively enough, then I will make it lively, so please take attention. Um, anyhow, so um, we have with us today uh, uh, the investigative uh, journalist is not really with us, but in spirit, Dr. Ronen Bergman, who will uh, give us uh, very shortly an overview of things that uh, some of us know but could not say officially. Um, and we cannot uh, either admit or not admit that the things are true, but they will enable us to have a factual narrative on, upon which we can uh, uh, reflect. And then we're very honored and pleased to have uh, Dr. Roy Scheindorf, one of the prominent uh, uh, legal policy makers in this space uh, until recently in Israel. Um, so thank you for coming. We also have uh, for Microsoft, Mr. Uh, Kevin Reifstep. Did I say that quote? That was great. Okay, thank you. Uh, he is Director for Critical Infrastructure Protection, Global Cybersecurity Policy at Microsoft, but he has an extensive US government background at the National Security Council, so he can bring to the table both of these approaches. We have uh, Eyal Sagi, a seasoned law and technology veteran practitioner in data protection and other uh, technological areas who will uh, take us sometimes from the more aloof policy discussions to the practicalities of the boardroom slash the meeting room. And uh, last but not least, and I think one of the innovators of this panel, right, Dr. Natalie Davidson from the Faculty of Law in Tel Aviv, who is a senior lecturer and uh, focusing on constitutional law. So uh, what's the plan? So we will basically start by uh, hearing what Ronen can tell us. And uh, this will be, uh, I will share with you a surprise for me as well, as he recorded this in Ukraine only an hour ago, hoping to join us live. So, uh, hopefully this will set the scene. And then we will ask uh, Natalie to give us um, the legal uh, overview of the uh, law in this space, as far as we can understand what the law is, right? Because some of these things are more problematic. And then we will move to Roy to share his thoughts on the straddling both policy, law, national security, and other, I guess, uh, important views. And then we'll talk to Kevin to hear from uh, the approach of a large multinational uh, non-state actor, but nevertheless uh, as influential as a state uh, about this issue. And uh, uh, this will uh, end, I think, our first round of setting the scene. I will frame the discussion, sort of, and then we'll start with you, Ayal, and you will give us some thoughts about how this looks from the private sector. Ultimately, we would like to ask two general questions. What, what, is, what can be expected from regulation in this space and the relationship between private sector and the state? And what can be done on the international sphere in this area? Um, uh, taking into account the conundrum, if you like, between national security dilemmas, commercial uh, uh, considerations, and as uh, Niva so eloquently told us, the issue of the public and global trust that depends on having this type of discussion in a rational uh, manner which can explain to the public what exactly is going on and not based only on partial narrative. So again, uh, I uh, invite you to take part in this conversation. All you need to do is signal that you have something to say. I know that some people in the audience are actually involved in some of these issues, but I will not call you out. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start with uh, Ronen Bergman with his uh, 